Now let's create a schedule for the foundations. This way we can calculate the necessary amount of concrete. Right-click the Element node in the Project Map and select the New Schedule Context menu command. Set its name to Foundation and click OK to create the new scheme. Let's add the criteria in the Criteria Foundation panel. Select the existing element type criterion and choose Wall as the value. Click on the Add Criteria button. Choose the element type criterion from the main group and set Column as the value. Set OR in the AND OR field of the Wall Criterion. Click on the Add Criteria button again and select Home Story from the Positioning Criteria group. Set minus one Foundation Story as the value. This way both the strip foundations below the walls and the pad foundations will be included in the schedule. Now let's set the fields. Add the net volume and type fields from the general parameters to the schedule fields list. Move the type field to the top. Click on the button furthest to the right in the type row to activate a flag icon. This will result in a summary by type. Click on the middle button of the net volume row to display a sum icon. This will result in an overall sum at the end of the list. Then click OK and using the navigator, open the foundation element list. Now the schedule shows the necessary information, but it still needs some formatting. Check the Merge Uniform Items checkbox to display identical items as one list row. Check the Show Headline checkbox to insert an additional row for the element type. This will make the schedule more understandable. Select the grand total. Apply the bold font style and set a red pen. Select the Arial font for the entire schedule. And hide the vertical borders for the entire schedule by clicking on the Separators Only button at the Cell Border Settings.